Hey guys, and welcome back to L Radio. My name is Light, and today we're going through all the questions that you guys put in my comments because, god damn, there's a lot. So, to start off with, let's head into this. By this dude, and there's a ton of these, can you make a tutorial on the moving plushie soon, please? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to inform you all that. I don't think I'm going to be doing a uh, plushie tutorial. It's... Yeah. By Bright Moon. Is this love? Yes. Is this mobile? No, it's not. Uh, this is regarding to the PC <laughs> robot tutorial. There's a whole other one for the mobile tutorial. You guys can find that one. By Max Edits. If you lied, then just cut it. Some people can't undo. Okay. I am sorry. But. I'm gonna blame the editors. No, it's, um, it's a little difficult. Because there's some information that I have to say. So we can't really cut that one section. I do apologize, this has happened a lot. I'll try to make it better, although I'm probably not going to be playing build a -Boat anymore, so. Random question by Carl the Great. When you build, are you the type of person who ends up accidentally forgets to save and losing like an hour of work on a build, or are you the type of person who saves after two minutes of not saving and goes, wait, did I save? I don't think I did. And then repeat it five more times. I used to be the former after the after an incident where I lost all the progress on my build four different times before autosave and screwdriver due to trollers, internet connection, and accident by me. In, and an accident by my friend. I became the latter. I'm the guy who forgets to save and then my internet crashes. By Kai KF. Did this guy hack? Or does he just have 1 million IQ? Sin. By, I think, two people. Master Builder, how did you get it? Chill Studios. Yeah, weekly, uh, week number 20, I believe. The Guardian of Z Legend of Zelda. Yeah. By this dude, why did you scam me? I don't think so. I didn't. By a couple people, um, tutorials on the chat bubble or, uh, head tutorials. So... I do not think I'm going to be doing any more tutorials. Um, apologies for that, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to raise your hopes up, but maybe. Just there's a small possibility that I might if I'm bored enough. The thing is, I'm working on a bunch of projects right now for school, for the games, uh, for a lot of stuff, for scholarships, for college. I'm setting off to leave soon after high school. So, it's it's a lot. So, yeah. When are you going to make a mobile version? Bro, there's already a mobile version. <laughs> okay. Is it mobile steering? Go to the mobile tutorial. You're on the PC tutorial. Don't go to the PC tutorial. Can mobile do it too? Bro. God damn it. Hello, wait, wait, um. You remember me? No. If I unanchor the mini titanium blocks fall, why does this happen? Can you be a little more specific? Which titanium blocks? There's like seven. Five. I forgot. Will there ever be a plush bot tutorial in this shorter format? Um, so I had so many plans to do a plush bot tutorial, but unfortunately, I, uh, yeah, no. No plush bot tutorial. <laughs> okay, now these questions are a little more serious and more of ones that everybody should, well, probably have. So these are in regards to the new update of Springs. A lot of people ask this. Just look. And so I will be um, 
kind of showing you guys what to do on that. So yeah. <laughs> Are you able to do this with different avatars? Example, taller, wider, bigger by Witty. I'm not sure how you say that exactly. Sorry about that. Um, but yes, you can. The plush bot and all of my robots, they use this exact same mechanic. So just depending on how you do it. Um, but yeah, here, wait. Let me try to get some sort of example here. So if you look at my plush bot, yes, this is the mechanic, which is why I'm not doing a tutorial on it. This is the same exact mechanic as you guys use for like this whole section right here is the same exact uh, mechanic that you guys use for the mobile robot tutorial. Uh, so you could literally make your own plush bot just by doing this. Uh, but yes, it does work on every single size as long as it's not too heavy. If you make it completely out of titanium, it's, it's going to glitch out. What if the legs and hands don't move? So if this happens, what uh, what you should do is, first of all, check that these blocks, uh, check that they're not connecting with anything uh, other than what they're supposed to connect with. If they are interacting with another block, then that could cause them to not move correctly. Also, check that the servos are at a good angle, because if not, then it could cause the wheel to break and not move. Um... But otherwise, just check your hinges. Check that everything is connected properly. So this question is probably the most important and everybody is asking this. What to do with the spring update? Now, the springs are different. You place them differently. So here is how you're going to do it. Now, once you get to the step that is needed, uh, such as placing this, once you get to here, what you're going to do is you're going to place down a spring right there. And now the needed length for this is around 3.5. So you're going to take this block and you are going to measure it to 3.5 to three right here. Now once you do that, you can delete that spring. And you can place a new spring in the place of that spring and just do that. And then you can do the same thing for the top one. Just place it up like that. Place the block, bring it up to 3.5, and then you could just swap up. And now you're asking, would this work? Well, let's test. Collision off, take that off. Let's save this. Let's save it into a different file. Now you're probably asking, would this work? Let's check this out. Sit down, bring it all together. And yep, works just fine. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking, is the updating affecting the robot? No, it should not. I created my robot in a way that it should still work even if there's a major update. So my robot is the perfect version of a robot i'm just i just gotta say i'm pretty proud of myself <laughs> now this is just a question that i have been asked am i doing tutorials unfortunately i am not doing uh roblox tutorials anymore um I, it's kind of just gotten a bit too i guess easy for me uh not to mention there's a lot of complications in my life right now uh, so I haven't found time or the energy to actually do tutorials anymore, but I still will be posting on my YouTube channel, maybe not as often, but as the breaks keep coming, I should be posting more live streams. Um, I'll be posting live streams, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.